Welcome to Drunk Science. We're going to see if what type freeze and release can chill a room temperature beer. I don't know if it can. We're going to see. Now, supposedly, this chills to negative 45 degrees. See that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So, by my drunken logic, it ought to bring this 60 degree beer down to like. 30 degrees relatively easily. We're gonna you, see if that theory you, you're gonna get this spray all over you. You'll freeze up and you're gonna be like Mr. Ice. Don't put that thought in my head. Yeah, I'm just gonna downwind of that. Yeah. I don't think it works. I don't think it does. I can taste it though. Doesn't taste good. There's a lot in this can. Yeah. It's a long time for it to cool down. It's hard to hold on to, it's getting greasy. <laughs> <laughs> this is doing wonders for the ozone layer, I'm sure. This is a very full can. Yeah. About to run out. Oh. oh, there's a little more in there. Okay, we're officially out of the freezing release. The bottle is semi cold, as the cameraman will now demonstrate. It is also incredibly greasy and oily. Gee, a church key there, Paul. Why are you going to drink it? Let's see if it worked. It didn't. It you don't know that. Hot. It's science. You don't know until you try it. I wouldn't drink it. You ain't a man. Yeah, it hasn't worked. No. I could have told you that. You ever realize how much warm yingling tastes like weed? Yeah. A lot. Okay, so um, that is incredibly greasy and slick. I'm like, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's the method to go with if you want a slightly below room temperature, greasy, oily beer. Um, think of the fridge. Still your best bet on that. Um, yeah, that doesn't really work. Myth, uh, myth busted. Is that a myth? Is that even a thing? I think I made that up. Did I make that up? I don't know. I think I made that up. Uh, you get a very greasy, slippery... Yeah, that's not the best warm. And it's tastes like warm beer in WD-40. Yeah, you pass. Don't do that, kids. <laughs>